Hi folks, this is a day we call Good Friday, the day when we remember what Jesus did for us 2,000 years or so ago. Just to set the scene, here are two scriptures, the first from Isaiah 53 verses 5 to 6 and the second from John 19 verses 16 to 18. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We have left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. Then Pilate turned Jesus over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus away. Carrying the cross by himself, he went to the place called Place of the Skull, in Hebrew Golgotha. There they nailed him to the cross. Two others were crucified with him, one on either side, with Jesus between them. This Good Friday, we remember once again that Jesus experienced an illegal trial followed by horrible abuse and a painful death, orchestrated by the Jewish leaders and the occupying Roman forces. But in the process, he took on himself all of our sins, every one, those committed in the past, the present, and those that will be committed in the future. But before he died, he made the eternal statement that has vibrated down the ages. It is finished. He had dealt with our sins once and for all. What was superficially a tragedy was in fact the most important act ever seen by man, ever, on this planet. We must never minimise the fact that the Son of God loved us so much that he died for us, for the forgiveness of our sins, so that we could be restored to him righteous and redeemed. His selfless act brought in a message of hope and reconciliation to a lost humanity. So let me ask you a question today. Always good for us to ask a question. For you, is Good Friday just a day's holiday, part of a bank holiday weekend? Or will you, by accepting God's offer of forgiveness, start a new life? a life that stretches into eternity. This could be the most important day you have ever lived.